Knox College, Illinois. Knox College is a private liberal arts college in Galesburg, Illinois. It was founded in 1837 and offers more than 60 courses of study. History Knox College was founded as Knox Manual Labor College in 1837 by a group of Presbyterians and Congregationalists organized by George Washington Gale. Gale was Galesburg's and Knox's founding father. He believed in the manual labor system of education and had previously implemented it at America's first such college, the short-lived Wanada Institute, near Utica, New York. Many of the founders, including the Reverend Samuel Wright, actively supported the Underground Railroad. Knox has been known by its present name since 1857. The name came about as a compromise among its founders. Though founded by a colony of Presbyterians and Congregationalists, the county where the college stands was already named Knox County, after Henry Knox, the first United States Secretary of War. Arguments have also been made that the college was named for Calvinist leader John Knox. It is not certain for which Knox it was named, if not both. George Kendy Gale, a great-great-grandson of two of the founders, explains that, contrary to general belief, Knox was not named for either General Knox or the Scottish Presbyterian Knox, according to my father. Some wanted the college named for one Knox, some for the other, so they compromised on Knox. Certainly most of them were pious enough to want the churchman, and fighters enough to want the soldier as well. Jonathan Blanchard's presidency led the school out of debt, but ignited a controversy about whether the school was loyal to the Congregational Church or the Presbyterians. Gale and Blanchard were forced out of the school as a result. Knox was the site of the fifth debate between Abraham Lincoln and Stephen A. Douglas in 1858. The old main building is the only extant site of the debates. Two years after the debates, during his presidential campaign, Lincoln was awarded Knox College's first honorary doctorate, a Doctor of Laws degree, announced at the commencement exercises of 5 July 1860. Academics Knox employs a 3-3 academic calendar rather than a traditional semester-based approach. In each of the three 10-week terms, students take three courses. Faculty members teach two courses each term, giving them more time for one-on-one -on -one mentoring. All courses of study at Knox contain common elements including an educational plan that students design. With the implementation of renewed Knox, the 2003 curriculum overhaul, the school expanded its academic offerings to meet the needs of a 21st century liberal arts education. In 2003, the Howard Hughes Medical Institute awarded the school $1 million to create a new major in neuroscience. In 2005, the college signed agreements with the George Washington University to create an early admission program into the university's medical school and with the University of Rochester to create a direct admission. Knox is also known for its Green Oaks term, an interdisciplinary program at the 700-acre 2.8 km2 1.1 SQ My Green Oaks Biological Field Station. The Green Field Station began in 1955 under the guidance of zoologists Paul Shepard and George Ward. Faculty The Knox College faculty is made up of 120 professors, 95% of whom have a PhD or equivalent degree. The student faculty ratio is 11, 1, while the average class size is 14. Prominent faculty members include psychologist Tim Kasser, Middle East expert Robert Sabert, Latin American expert Karen Campworth, evolutionary psychologist Frank McAndrew, noted expert on 20th century American art and director of the National Center for Midwest Art and Design Gregory Gilbert, fiction writer Chad Simpson, author Lincoln Studies Center. Davis and Wilson established the Lincoln Studies Center in 1998. The center deals with issues relating to Lincoln's life and legacy by fostering new research, publishing monographs, hosting annual lectures and occasional symposia. Students are often employed as assistants in the various projects at the center. In August 2009, 
the National Endowment for the Humanities We the People Initiative awarded Knox $850,000, a grant that will provide the base of a permanent endowment for the center. Admission According to the Carnegie Classification of Institutions of Higher Education, Knox is considered a more selective institution, with a lower rate of transfer in students. In the fall of 2018, 2738 students applied, 2,500 students were admitted, and 345 chose to enroll. Of the class of 2017-34, of students were in the top tenth of their class and 66% in the top quarter. The ACT Composite Midminus 50% range was 2430, and the SAT Midminus 50% range 1190-1380. Student Body 1258 students were enrolled at Knox in September 2019. They came from 45 states and territories and 49 countries. 40% of U.S. students are of color and 19% are international students. Women make up 57% of the student body, men 43%. Tuition the comprehensive cost tuition, room, board, and fees of an academic year at Knox was $60,144 in 2019-2020. U.S. citizens are eligible for a wide array of need and merit-based scholarships, as well as various federal and private loan programs. There are numerous avenues for on-campus employment during the academic year. The college offers scholarships to qualified international students who wish to take full advantage of an American liberal arts education. International students are also eligible for on-campus jobs. According to the U.S. Department of Education, the median federal debt of Knox College graduates who received student loans was $27,000. In addition, only 53% of students who attended Knox earned, on average, more than those with only a high school diploma. Student Life Greek Organizations Knox College is home to nine Greek letter organizations, the oldest of which has been on campus since 1855. Providing a network of alumni to enhance job and life connections, fraternity men's and sorority women's chapters provide Knox students with living organizational and learning opportunities. Through their respective inter-Greek governance organizations, chapters conduct a formal recruitment process during each winter term to ensure first-year students have a chance to adjust to college life and classes before joining. Most offer residential housing for members. Some chapters formerly present have closed. Of these, alumni members are often still active with the college's alumni association and recolonization of dormant chapters remains an opportunity for potential new founders. Sororities These organizations are governed by Knox's Panhellenic Council. DDD Delta Delta Delta, 1889, in PC Sorority. PBPH Pi Beta Phi, 1872, in PC Sorority. Hirority Key, Orority Key, Orority Key, Orority Key, PC Sorority. KKG Kappa Kappa Gamma, 2007, in PC Sorority, PC Sorority, PC Sorority, PC Sorority, C Sorority, C Sorority, PC Sorority, 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 PC Sorority, PC Sorority, Sorority, ASA Alpha Sigma Alpha, 2010 in PC Sorority T Rorority 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 T PC Sorority T Rorority 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 T Fraternities These organizations are governed by Knox's Interfraternity Council. The THP Beta Theta Pi 1855, NIC Fraternity T. LKH Alam de Chai Alpha, 1915-1934, Dormant, NIC Fraternity T. PHGD Phi Gamma Delta Fiji, 1867, NIC Fraternity T. Fraternity T. SN Sigma Nu, 1891, NIC Fraternity T. Fraternity T. TKE Tau Kappa Epsilon 1912, 
and I see fraternity. PH Escape Phi Sigma Kappa, 1928-1955, Dormant, and I see fraternity. Escape H Sigma Chi, 2007, and I see fraternity. Eternity, 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 eternity. Traditions. Pumphandel is an annual tradition dating back to 1885, during which new members of the community are welcomed to Knox. On the afternoon before the start of the academic year, all members of the Knox community gather on the south lawn outside Old Main. The president of the college leads the welcoming line, shaking each person's hand in turn. Everyone shakes the hands of those who have gone before, and the line grows, snaking around the campus. Flunk Day is an annual spring carnival that allows students, staff, and faculty to mingle and have fun. Classes are canceled for the day as the student body turns its attention to a joke issue of the student newspaper, live music, inflatable bounce rooms, petting zoos, a mud pit, a paint fight, and a seniors vs. faculty softball game. The date of Flunk Day changes every year and is a secret until the entire student body is awakened at around 5 a.m. on the day. Flunk Day is of particular significance since Knox College does not close for reasons other than winter break and spring break. Flunk Day is a time that students, staff, and faculty can all come together. Student Media, Media The Knox Student, a weekly student newspaper. Catch a prize-winning literary magazine. Cellar Door, a literary magazine. The Common Room, online journal of literary criticism. Quiver, a literary magazine of genre fiction. The Knox student has won numerous awards as one of the best college newspapers in the state of the Illinois, including numerous first-place category awards and general excellence awards from the Illinois College Press Association. Knox's radio station is WVKC. It is on the fourth floor of George Davis Hall, a former science building that now houses the social science and language departments. Its frequency in Galesburg is 90.7. The Princeton Review ranked it hash 7 in the nation for great college radio station in its 2011 best 368 colleges. Athletics Campus Knox College has 45 academic and residential buildings on its 82-acre 330,000 M2 campus. It has electron microscopes, a gas chromatograph mass spectrometer, a celestron telescope, access to the Inter-University Consortium for Political and Social Research, the strong collection of 18th and 19th century maps and photographs, the Hughes collection of manuscripts and first editions from Hemingway, and his lost generation contemporaries, and in 2018, a phased plan to renovate the Umbeck Science Mathematics Center SMC was announced, with classes being taught in the renovated space beginning with the winter term of 2020, with additional phases of renovations to follow. In 2006, the new ENL Andrew Fitness Center was dedicated. The 13,000 square foot 1202 Two dollars four cents million facility features state-of-the-art equipment and is significantly larger than the former fitness center Memorial Gymnasium. The centerpiece of campus is Old Main, the oldest building on its campus and the best preserved site of one of the 1858 senatorial debates between Abraham Lincoln and Stephen Douglas, a national historic landmark and part of the National Register of Historic Places. Built in 1928, the Samer Library was ranked third best library in the nation by the Princeton Review in 2001. Inside its leaded glass windows and oak paneled reading rooms, the library houses 350,000 books and more than 14,000 periodicals. Its special collections include the Finley Collection of Midwest History, the Strong Collection of 18th and 19th Century Maps and Photographs, the Hughes Collection of Manuscripts and First Editions of Faulkner, Hemingway and His Lost Generation Contemporaries, and an original Diderot Encyclopedia. In 2002, a major curriculum revision called Renewed Knox was launched. With this revision came the creation of six new academic centers, the Center for Research and Advanced Studies, 
the Center for Global Studies, the Center for Career and Pre-Professional Development, the Center for Community Service, the Center for Teaching and Learning, and the Center for Intercultural Life. Students established the Knox College Community Garden in 2007 as an independent study project. It continues to be tended by student volunteers and produces a variety of annual and perennial vegetables and flowers. U.S. Department of Education College Scorecard According to the U.S. Department of Education, 18% of students who started college at Knox College later transferred to another school. This compares to the national average of over 30% of students transferring colleges. 16% of the entering class did not return after their first year. This compares to a national average of 30% of college students who do not return after their first year. African Americans make up 13.4% of the U.S. population in general, about 8% of surrounding area, and they are 8% of the Knox College student body. Knox College graduates typically earn between $18,300 and $33,100, less than the average starting salary paid to college graduates, about $50,000, although there is great variation in both of these figures based on chosen majors and career paths. Knox alumni go into fields ranging from literature to neurosurgery. Furthermore, published earning data is skewed by the fact that a significant number of Knox students do not seek full-time employment immediately after graduating from Knox, instead going on to pursue graduate degree programs, including PhDs, medical school, and law school, during which time work is delayed or only part-time. Alumni Knox College has over 16,000 living alumni. The alumni giving rate was 24.5% in the 2019 minus 20 giving year, with nearly 7,000 individuals contributing to the college. Notable alumni Edgar Edison Bancroft, lawyer and diplomat, served as United States Ambassador to Japan 1924-1925. Barry Barrack, 1971, New York Times journalist and visiting professor at Columbia University Graduate School of Journalism, winner of 2002 Pulitzer Prize for International Reporting, 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 National Reporting, 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 Reporting. Matt Berg, 2000 CEO of ONA, former director of ICT for Millennium Villages Project at Columbia University's Earth Institute, named in 2010 as one of the Time 100 most influential people of the world. Michael J. Buds, musicologist and professor at the University of Missouri School of Music. Ernest Elmo Calkins, 1891, founder of First Modern Advertising Agency, Amy Carson, 1990 actress, known for NBC television series Third Watch, the CBS series Blue Bloods, and Law and Order Trial by Jury by Jury. Job Adams Cooper, 1867, sixth governor of state of Colorado, 1889-1891. Redass, 2004, comedian, Bollywood actor, Hollywood actor. Charles Eastman, Native American physician, Activist and Boy Scout official, Ethyl Eichelberger, born James Roy Eichelberger, a famous drag queen, playwright and actor for whom a prize was founded by Downtown Manhattan Theater Institution, P.S. 122, 22-22-22. Bill Essek, former pitcher for Cincinnati Reds, baseball executive and scout, Fred Ewing, 1913 physician, sixth head football coach of University of Oklahoma, and first to require academically eligible players, Eugene Field, poet, journalist, and author. John Huston Finley, 1887, author, former president of Knox College, president of City College of New York, associate editor of the New York Times, Jack Finney, 1934, science fiction author, works include The Body Snatchers and Time and Again, George Heldesen, Fitch, 1897, author, journalist, and humorist. David P. Fridovich, 1974, retired lieutenant general and Green Beret in U.S. Army, 
former deputy commander of U.S. military's United States Special Operations Command, Hobart R. Gay, 1917 U.S. Army General, served under General George S. Patton. Robert Hansen, 1966 FBI agent convicted of spying for Soviet Union and Russia in 2001, subject of film breach 2007 Otto Harbach, 1895 songwriter, for whom Knox's Harbach Theater is named. Don Harmon, 1988 Illinois State Senator Democrat and 39th President of the Illinois Senate. Loyal M. Haynes, 1918 Brigadier General in U.S. Army, Commanding General of 2nd Division Artillery Unit in Korean War and survivor of the 1946 Seaminus 53 Skytrooper crash on the Gauley Glacier, Shun, Glacier, Shirley Glacier, Shirley Glacier, Shirley Glacier, Shirley Glacier, Shirley Glacier, Shirley Glacier, V.J. Hollers, 2007 author. Bob Jamison, ABC News correspondent. Frank J. Jerka, Jr., 1944, former president of American Medical Association. Whitcomb Judson, inventor of the zipper. James M. Kiltz, 1970, former CEO of Gillette. Ismat Katani, 1951, former Iraqi ambassador to the United Nations and president of the United Nations General Assembly, helped start Nazi's honor system. Alex Kuo, 1961, distinguished affiliated scholar at Knox, author, winner of 2002 American Book Award, and Book Award, Ward, Ward. Thomas Eugene Kurtz, 1950, co-inventor of basic computer language. Charles Wesley Leffingwell, 1862, editor of the Living Church magazine. Lorenzo D. Luling, 12th governor of Kansas. Don Markey, author and journalist, journalist, list, List journalist. Edgar Lee Masters, poet and novelist, best known as author of Spoon River Anthology 1915, S.S. McClure 1882, McCraking Journalism Pioneer, founder of McClure's Magazine. Todd Munkin 1989, former football head coach at Southern Mississippi University, currently offensive coordinator for the University of Georgia. Of Georgia's Ander Monson, 1997, novelist and poet, author of Other Electricities and Vacationland, a collection of poems. John Podston, 1971, chief of staff for President Bill Clinton. Rose Polanzani, independent folk musician. Gene Rayburn, announcer for The Tonight Show, host of The Match Game and other game shows, The Game Shows, Hiram Rhodes Revels Amy, and Methodist Episcopal Minister and First Black U.S. Senator, 1870-1871. Varnabas Root, 1871, of the first black men to receive a college degree in Illinois. Ezekiel S. Sampson, U.S. Representative and lawyer from Iowa. Don Samuelson, 25th Governor of Idaho, 1967-1971. Ellen Browning Scripps, 1859, newspaper magnate, philanthropist, helped found Scripps College and Scripps Institution of Oceanography. Robert Sabert, 1963, Professor Emeritus at Knox College and author of Politics and Change in the Middle East. Joseph J. Sisko, 1941, diplomat under Henry Kissinger, President of American University, 1976-1980, takes 1980. Zach Stephenson, 2006, Minnesota State Representative, 2019-present. Dorothea Tanning, 1932, surrealist painter, wife of surrealist painter Max Ernst, Max Ernst, Ernst, Max Ernst. Catherine Tanquery, 2010, author of juvenile fiction novel The Night Parade. Mary Allen West, 1855, journalist and temperance worker. Alan Arthur Willman, 1928, classical pianist, 20th century composer, chair of University of Wyoming Music Department. John Wozniak, 1999 football player and Division I football coach.